Okay everyone, here is the overview of the cage I designed for the Blackmagic Cinema Camera, the pocket camera. Um, it's printed by Shapeways. I designed it in on a computer, you know, 3D model. And then basically what Shapeways does is take your model and print it out. So this is printed in the strong and flexible plastic. Which is basically, it's a form of nylon. So it's extremely strong, but it has a little bit of flex to it. So you can see if I turn it up like this, and twist on it here, you can see it gives just a little bit, but not much. And I put, I put threaded holes here all on the top for mounting points. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then here on the bottom as well, there's two mount holes next to the the main hole that you actually hook the camera body to. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put that in here. Um, this grip design is custom. I designed the whole thing. So this is designed basically when you're holding it to go into your palm like that. So it's really comfortable. And then your hand just wraps around the front here. And then there's also a curved area here where your fingers can go underneath that and kind of give you stability as well as this little thing sticking out here that you put your thumb against and that gives you even better stability when you're trying to stabilize the camera and hold it so let me go ahead and show you guys how to put the camera body into this get the body here of the pocket camera and basically what you're going to do is set this this left edge into the cage here you're going to slide it in pretty snug. That's the way I designed it. Because you don't want any slop in this body. So you're going to basically slide it over until it won't go any further to the left and push it forward on that corner like this. So it should look something like that. And then you're just going to gently slide the back corner on this side down into the frame and you can see it kind of drop in there. And there really isn't much tolerance here. This side is going to almost pretty much touch the handle and this side's going to be sticking into this little access port a little bit. Then when you flip it around here and look at the top you can see that the hole, the mounting hole in the camera doesn't quite line up here with the hole in the cage. That's fine, it's actually designed that way because the front of this, the front of the Blackmagic body actually has a piece of uh, rubber on the front. So what, what you want to do when you mount this is have a little bit of pressure against that rubber, compress it a little bit, and that keeps the camera stable in the cage no matter, you know, how heavy a lens you put on it or what kind of adapters and ND filters and stuff you put out there in front of the camera that start weighing it down. So just going to take 392 quarter 20, uh, 2 quarter 20 bolts, a uh, quarter inch long, and they do need to be... Uh, I forget what they call this head, but it's you can see what it looks like. Just so it's countersunk into the frame and doesn't hit anything. And these are Allen. So basically, you're just going to take one of these, set it into the frame here. Open up block in this. You're going to set it into the frame like that. And you're just going to carefully start it into the body of the camera. this and you'll feel it start in and just kind of stop and leave it there and then the other side on the top end or whichever way you decide to do it you can kind of press on the back of the body here and try and get it to come forward a little bit and see if you can start that one if you can't start it it'll help to put a lens on the on the body of the camera to give it some weight but in my case I've already done this once so it, it, go, it goes ahead and starts in so basically just run it down till almost it's just about to touch and then go back to the bottom side and run that one down as well. And then don't clamp them yet, just kind of get them down there and then basically just kind of press forward on the camera body, make sure it's nice and flat in the case, which it is now, and then go ahead and clamp it down. And you just need to make these snug. They don't have to be tight. If you tighten them down really hard, you're going to start breaking things. Probably the camera, but <laughs> you definitely don't want, to, don't want to do that with a thousand dollar body. And like I said, if you're having trouble getting that pressed forward and mounted, you can take a lens, heavier the better, um, and just go ahead and click it on to the camera body. 
and when you're in this stage here trying to bolt it on, that, that lens weight down here will kind of help you out. It'll kind of pull the camera down into the end of the frame and make it easier to start the bolts. So there it is mounted into the body. This is a this is a Sigma lens. Probably weighs a good pound, pound and a half. Never really weighed it, but there it is all bolted in. These are all your access ports. I'm going to make a separate item that will be available on the Shapeway store that you can bolt onto this area that will basically cover up your plugs and at the same time allow you to clamp them so you can't, you know, catch them and break them off, which no one wants to do. And then down here is the access for the battery door, so you can flip this, door opens right up, nothing in the way, you can get your card reader, your card out, your battery. And then these holes here are mount holes, so if you want to hook this to an adapter plate for a tripod, or you want to hook it onto any other device, or maybe you want to hang a battery adapter down here, or, you know, whatever it happens to be, these are already threaded as well, quarter 20, so these are ready to go, as well as the ones on top that I mentioned earlier, so... The only thing you do have to do, I put this in the description page, when they're printing the 3D model, it leaves kind of like a powder from the plastic powder they're actually forming this out of in the thread holes. So when you first get this item, you can't thread items into these threaded holes. You have to get that powder out of there, either with a little brush or something. And in my case, the, the bolts would still wouldn't start in, even though the threads are the right size, just there was too much powder residue in this dye. This black dye is added to the plastic after they make it, it's actually, the plastic is actually white and they dye it black. So some of that dye kind of gets in there too. So I just took a quarter twenty um, drill tap, which is used for threading holes in items, and you just basically run that through there <coughs> gently and it will remove all of that, that extra powder and dye, and then your bolts will thread right in just fine. So you might have to pick one of those up at a hardware store for now, just to clean the holes up so that they work right. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go out of the box. Uh, nice and stable. You can see when I'm holding it. Just kind of, your pinky doesn't really fit on here, unless you have a smaller hand, but your three fingers here will wrap around the grip. Oops, sorry. Your three fingers will wrap around the grip like that. And then this rounded area here kind of goes into the middle of your hand, or somewhere thereabouts. And this part is just kind of for stability. You put your thumb against that. And um, that helps you stabilize the camera when you're trying to hold a heavy lens out there. You're trying to control this. That gives you stability when you're trying to hold on to it. So, you can see I don't have any problem controlling where I'm angling the camera or letting go of it. And I have my other hand free to control, you know, all the focus rings, so. Anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the top. This is the top handle here. It's also the same material um, available on Shapeways. The one on Shapeways that you're going to be able to buy is a little bit different than this because I haven't actually received the finished one yet. This is like a, basically like a prototype that I made and it's a little bit too short. Uh, I had problems with the, when you put your hand in there, your, your knuckles kind of hit the, the bolts where it clamps onto the camera. So I got that a little higher on the next one. And also this rail up here that you're actually holding onto, I just widened it a little bit because it's, it could just be a little more comfortable. It's a little bit on the narrow side. It's plenty strong. You can see, you can actually... You can actually see it flex here a little bit if you give it some good pressure, but it's not going to snap. This plastic is actually very strong, so it has a little bit of give to it, and it might seem brittle because it's so lightweight, but this stuff is not going to break on you. So, anyone worried about their thousand dollar camera put on here? It's not just going to snap and, you know, have something fall off, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on for you to kind of show you what it looks like when it's finished, even though your handle that you buy is going to be a little bit different. And... This one I had some issues getting the mounting bolts to, or getting access rather to the mounting bolts here because they're Allen. Uh, I should have put an access hole here in the handle, which I did on the on the finished product. So the one you guys buy is going to have an access hole to to put an Allen in here and screw in the bolt or thread it in. But on this one there is none. So if I can do this, so you guys can see what's going on here. I'm just going to kind of cheat and basically. I'm going to start it in and just spin it around until I get it down close and then put the other one in because it's kind of hard to get it started. So you can see here, I just kind of got it in there. I'm just going to spin it here to the correct spot and then tighten this up. 
And on the other side here, on this other one here, I'm just going to tighten it up with the Allen wrench because this one you can get access to. So this one should just thread right in. And you won't need these washers either. In the final product, um, I set this this thickness here so that when you buy a, basically you buy a quarter 20 volt here that's half inch long, it'll thread down and stop just short of hitting your camera body, which you wouldn't want. On this one I had to add some washers because the depth isn't quite right, so just thread this down until it's snug like that. And then on this side, I'm just going to kind of tighten this one up by hand. If I can get in here. Anyway, but even with one of them, you can you can see how it how it works. It's plenty strong even on one bolt. To hold the whole camera and this heavy lens, this is a quite this is a pretty heavy lens. Like if you put on the the Panasonic 1440 or one of the other lenses, they're much lighter than this lens. So this lens is actually pretty heavy. So the main thing I designed with this handle and this body that I didn't like about the commercial ones that you can buy, the aluminum bodies and stuff, is none of them would hang. None of the cameras would hang horizontal. When you went to pick them up. You know, you, you pick up on the handle and the camera would do this. And no one wants a, a camera that's going to hang lopsided like that because all your footage is going to come out crooked. So rather than having to try and twist this handle up here so that you can get the camera body straight the entire time you're recording, you know, they should have placed the handle in the center of gravity so that the camera would roughly hang straight down. And of course that'll change with your lens weights. But in this case, you might it might look kind of confusing because of this tabletop here, but... If you were to see this dead on straight, when you're holding this, um, underneath the camera hangs horizontal on its own. It's not tilted one way or the other. And I also put the placement of this uh, arm here where it comes up roughly in the center of gravity for a, for a fairly heavy lens like this. So that when you're holding it at that position, it doesn't want to tip forward like this or tip back like this and, you know, be all awkward. So, anyway. There you go, that's the finished product. Plenty strong, plenty sturdy. It's got nice mount points on it. Comfortable grip. And this whole cage and the handle and everything runs you just about, I think it's right around 120, 110. Um, as long as Shapeways keeps their pricing the same, that's what you'll be able to get it for. Um, and yeah, so there you, there you go, there you have it. A 3D printed uh, plastic Shapeways cage, protects your camera. That's how you hook all your accessories onto it. And a fraction of the cost of all the others, and the nice thing is it's all balanced. So your camera actually is going to hang horizontal when you go to shoot footage with it. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment below if you want. I'm going to put links in there for the product page and Shapeways. That's it.